So fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam! It's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's gotta stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my teeth. Spoiling days are over. But Jim and Sam is on his way. potatoes. On the sign, 
Sam should only have one S. Oh, that? Oh, that's S-S-A-M. It stands for Snacks and Sweets Aggressive Majority. Oh. Oh boy, a box top! If I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here, right? I should probably get out of here soon. Yuck! Licorice! should stop eating this stuff. Nice day, isn't it? How long is this party gonna go on? It's a political party. It goes on forever. Wow! Where do they get all this food? At the store, I think. I like this music. Yeah, but I'm not much of a dancer. everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli? <gasps> You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Tra la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. A box top. <laughs> My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. Hey, bonbons! I like those. <laughs> this is fun! I wonder what Pajama Man would do in a situation like this. How come you're in here, Florette? Do you not want to spoil your dinner, too? I'm one of the delegates to the big peace conference at the Food Pyramid. Peace conference? Yes. Delegates from all the food groups are supposed to get together to work out our differences. I represent the vegetables.
Alright, I don't see what you being a... What did you call it? Peace delegate? Right. What does that have to do with you being in jail? Those sweets locked me up in here because they don't want the peace conference to happen. I had no idea that sweets were so mean. They're not all like that. It's mostly just this one group. Sometimes, when you get a lot of them together, they get a little crazy. That's funny. My mom says the same thing about my big brother and his friends. I've already got a bonbon. I've already got a bonbon. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. Hey, I think this is... Oops, gee, I didn't mean to break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. Boy, that's quite a lock. I don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, do you? I'm afraid not. I guess we'll need the key then. That key will open the cell door. Too bad I can't reach the key. This lock is pretty solid. I don't think I can break it. It'd be nice if the key was a little closer. Ah, oh, looks like we're stuck in here. Unless I could get that key. We've really got to get out of here. You need to get to your peace conference, and I've got to be home in time for dinner. How are we going to get out? Never fear! Pajama Sam is here! I'll get us out of here! Yes, sir, that's quite a lock. I wonder if there's something I can use to get that key down from over here. I'll bet it's the biggest lock I've ever seen. This lock looks pretty solid. I don't think I can break it. I really like your hat. Thank you. All the peace delegates wear them. I hope they haven't started the peace conference already. Don't worry, Ferret. I'm gonna get us out of here any minute now. I hope the other delegates aren't having as much trouble as I am. None of them are stuck in here with us. That's a good sign, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is. I can't reach it. Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, do you? I'm afraid not. I guess we'll need the key then. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough. <laughs> I can't reach it. I got the key! I think maybe I deserve a reward.
Sam, you did it! Quick, let's get out of here before they come back! Okay, let's go! <gasps> Sweet troops! We'd better not let them see us! I've got to get to that peace conference at the food pyramid as quickly as possible! Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam! You're a real hero! See you later! Gee! Those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. Here's another box top! I hope I can find 20! I wonder what Pajama Man would do if he were here. I'm not going over there with all those soldiers around. I'm not going over there with all those soldiers around. General, no! Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Moptop is in big trouble. Moptop? Yeah, Moptop. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Moptop are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group has taken over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. 
you got that right. Sal, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate, and they're supposed to all get together here at the pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war. No, General, no. The conference is still on. I'm Pajama Sam. Great Rhubarb Private! It's about time you got here! Where are those reports I asked for? I'm sorry. I don't think you asked me for any reports. Uh, we've never really spoken before. Oh? Well then, it's a good thing you didn't bring me any reports. Keep it up, lad. You might get a promotion out of this. A box top! Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble, or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Bean 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? A garage and a sweet just marched through the headlands! War, I tell you! No, General, wait! Boy, I'd better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can. I saw Florette head towards the conference, so she should be fine. That's Granny Smythe. I don't think I found her yet. That's Chuck Cheddar. I still need to find him. That's Pierre Le Pen. I still need to find him. I still need to find Bean 47. Carrot says that Luke Wigglebig is already at the conference. Carrot says that Luke Wigglebig is already at the conference. I've got to find those delegates. Yo, Sam, you've got to get going and rescue those delegates as soon as you can, man. Right. I'm on my way. How will I know when I find the delegates again? Just look for the straw hats, man. Oh, yeah. Pajama Sam is on the job. it is, soldier. Wouldn't be very useful otherwise. I suppose not. What are the little blue things? Those are, uh, why, uh, those are, um, um, hmm, I've forgotten. What are those green pointy things? Asparagus spear division, son. Nice map. <clears throat> yes. What are the square things? Uh, those are just some blocks I was playing with. I suppose I should put them away, uh, but I'm very busy! Ah, there you are, Private! What's the news from the front? The front? Uh, 
It looks like pajamas, same as always. Ha ha! Very good. Now off with you, young man. There's a war on, isn't there? Sam, time is a waste in your day. Oh, right! The delegates! What are the little triangles? That's the third rearward front-facing battery battalion! Private! Why aren't you guarding the telescope at A-Complex? I'm sorry, I think you've got me confused with someone else. Me? How do you know it's not you that's got you confused? I'm never confused about anything! Except for that one time at the trifle range. But that hardly counts! Man the torpedoes! Uh, yes sir. Sam, time is a waste in your day. Oh right! The delegates! Pardon me? Why, did you do something wrong? Well, no time for that now! Big things are afoot! What's that over there? I have no idea. What's that over there? Uh, the enemy! Nice map. <clears throat> yes. Great galloping frog's legs! There are sweets massing in Thorax Park! We've got to mobilize immediately! This means war! No, General, no! It's probably just a volleyball game. Let's hold off declaring war for a few more minutes, shall we? Well, all right. But I'm keeping both eyes on the situation. And the other one on you, Carrot. Yes, General. What's that over there? Uh, the enemy! Thundering flapjacks! The blubberbs are under attack! We've got to retaliate! Stop, General, stop! That's not an attack. It looks more like a party, actually. Hmm, I suppose. Shivering shallots! Look here, Carrot. Tell me this doesn't mean war. That's a crumb from your lunch, General. Delicious. Now, uh... What was I talking about? You were saying we don't need to declare war just yet. That the rest of the peace delegates will be here any time now and everything will be all right. Ah, of course. I said that? Thundering flapjacks! The blubberbs are under attack! We've got to retaliate! Stop, General, stop! That's not an attack. It looks more like a party, actually. Hmm, I suppose. must be the peace conference, right? Yes, that's right. It's nice to see you again, Sam. Ah, oh, gee. A box top! four delegates before it's too late. These chairs are for the other four delegates to the peace conference. I've got to find the delegates so the conference can start. These chairs are for the other four delegates to the peace conference. Excuse me, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Luke, this is Pajama Sam. Sam, this is Luke Wigglebig from the Fast and Sweet. I was asked to be here because of my remarkably good taste. I see. Um, what's gonna happen at the conference when it starts? Well, ideally, we talk about what the different food groups want, and then we compromise to make everybody happy. Ideally? Yes. In reality, I think there will be a lot of arguing, and Luke will spend most of his time making sure there's no dust on his lapels. I heard that. When are 
are we going to start this conference anyway? When everyone has arrived. You like being a delegate? Oh yes. It's very fulfilling, and I like the people, even Luke. I heard that. I do wish we didn't have to wear these ridiculous hats. They're so tacky. I like them. Yes, I suppose. Just for the record, I think I should say that the SSAM do not reflect the views of all fats and sweets. Many of us are interested in peace. That's good to know. Will you explain to me why this conference is happening again? Well, it's basically because there have been a lot of disagreements between the food groups. Mostly between the sweets and everybody else. We have to talk about it and reach some kind of compromise. Or you know, we sweets are renowned for our good taste. No, oh, it stands to reason that we should be in charge. I think maybe we should wait for everyone to get here before we start on any of that. Hmm. Where is everyone? We've got to get started. I have a dental appointment later. Patience, Luke. I'm sure everyone will be here soon. My cummerbund is riding up again. Perhaps you should dress more casually next time. I think not. I'm glad you're helping us with the conference, Sam. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh. Hi, I'm Sam. You're the librarian, right? Yes, that's right. Why are you crying? Can I help? Oh, no, thank you. Is this a book I'm reading? It's very sad. What book are you reading? Is it one of the classics? Oh, well, sort of. Y you see, it's a... Oh, all right, it's not one of the classics. It's called Passion in Pittsburgh. I got it at the supermarket. Satisfied? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. You really think so? Sure. Well, don't tell anybody just the same. We librarians have to keep up appearances. Okay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. What happens in your book? It's the story of three young women who fall in love with steelworkers during the disco era. Sounds kind of mushy. Oh, it is. Is there a car chase in it? As a matter of fact, yes. Lila has to chase Thurman to keep him from flying back to Cairo where he's secretly a prince. That doesn't sound too bad. What else happens in your book? Franklin receives a leg transplant from a marathon runner and they can't get him to stay at home. Oh my! Tell me some more about your book. Loomis loves Betty, but Betty loves Trent and Trent loves Alice. Alice pretends to love Michael. But secretly, she really loves Lorenzo, who has fallen for Yvette. Yvette is married to Simon, but she loves Randall, and Simon loves Alice. Randall loves Lucy, who loves Henry, who loves Grace. But she's too tied up in her work to notice. Oh, it's so real. What's happening in the part you're reading now? Visitors from space come to Earth, and Beth has to decide whether to stay with Michael or to run away with Zufrax. It's quite a dilemma. She loves them both. Tell me some more about your book. Mr. Burphy plans to close the steel mill, which would be awful because then Lawrence would have to move away from Betsy. Fortunately, Mr. Burphy develops a terrible rash and has to go to New Orleans. What's happening in the part you're reading now? One of the women, Beatrice, sits at the same bus stop every day with this man, Kevin, but she never sees him because she only has one eye. Oh, it's terribly romantic. <laughs> Here's another box top.
Another box top. to a tree like this. That's a good point. What else do you like to do besides swing, Sprinkle? I used to like to swim quite a bit. Well, float, really. I'm a good floater. What do you like to do besides swinging? Well, I think I mentioned swimming before, but mostly I don't do that these days. Why not? Because I'm tied to a tree, silly. Oh, yeah. across the river. That's a condiment tree. A condiment tree? Condiments grow on it. I see. What's a condiment? It's a sauce to make foods taste better. You know, like ketchup. Oh yeah! Do you think you could swing as far as that other tree over there? Oh no, I don't think so. Let's swing some more. Okay. That's fun! <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Oh, we're good. We're guards. Yeah, we're guarding this uh, entrance. This entrance right here. We're guarding it. I see. Can I go inside? Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, well, let's see. It's no guards allowed. No, that's not right. It's guards only. Guards only, that's right. And, uh... 
Well, he's not a gourd, so... Uh, so that would mean... And that would mean, no, you can't go in. No admittance. Unless you're a gourd. Which you're not. A gourd. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, good, another box top. Hey, that tickled! <laughs> Say, what exactly is a gourd anyway? Oh, well, they're, um, uh... Well, certain kinds of fruits are gourds. The kind that grow on vines, including, well, let's see, melons. And squash. And, um, uh, those orangey things. Um... Pumpkins! Oh, yes, especially pumpkins. Pumpkins are gourds. Thanks! I've got to rescue those delegates. Pretty sure. It's gourds only. And you don't look like a gourd to me. Okay, I just thought I'd ask. Could you tell me what a gourd is again? Well, yes, they're like, uh, melons or... or... Or pumpkins. Right, pumpkins. Thanks. Have you guys been guards for a long time? Yes. Oh, yes. Ever since... Uh, let me think since this morning that's right since this morning that doesn't sound like a very long time to me you haven't been standing here all day that's true say what's inside this building you're guarding anyway uh well uh of course it's uh we don't know you don't know? We're not allowed inside. I've got to find those delegates. Do you like being guards? Oh, yes. Yes, except for all the standing around and the, well... The guarding things. Right. That part isn't very interesting. But the rest is, well... It's great. Really great. I see. Could you tell me what a gourd is again? Well, yes, they're like, uh, melons or... or... Or pumpkins. Right, pumpkins! Thanks. Have you guys been guards for a long time? Yes. Oh, yes. Ever since... Uh, let me think. Since this morning. That's right. Since this morning. That doesn't sound like a very long time to me. You haven't been standing here all day. That's true. Nice day, isn't it? I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Can't talk now. Digging. <laughs> Excuse me, could you let me through? Hmm, 
You guys sure are working hard. Digging is very important. How long are you going to be working today? Until quitting time. When exactly is quitting time? Well, I'm not sure. The whistle blows, and we stop. How come you're doing all this digging anyway? Somebody's got to do it. You guys sure are working hard. Digging is very important. When exactly is quitting time? Well, I'm not sure. The whistle blows, and we stop. The carrot is doing with that crazy gem. Hold the horn in celebration. I like to blow it when I find the answer to a question I'm pondering. What happens when you blow it? Try it and see. <gasps> Some horn! Not so loud next time. The sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I'm wondering how gravity works. I mean, I can see that it does work, but how? That's a heavy question. Very funny. Oh. 
Are you still thinking about gravity? Yes. Maybe there are great big magnets inside the Earth that make gravity work. Interesting, but I doubt it. Maybe gravity works the same way tape does. You know, stickiness. Hmm, possibly. Maybe gravity works like a vacuum cleaner, and the Earth just sucks stuff onto it. That's very intriguing, but I'm not sure. Maybe gravity works kind of like love. I hope not, because then I haven't got the slightest chance of understanding it. Maybe gravity is like invisible rubber bands. Ah, I like that. But I'll have to think on it some more. How do you suppose they get the creamy filling inside of a Twinkie? I don't know how they get it in, but I know how to get it out. I'm trying to decide which came first. The eggplant or the egg? Eggs don't grow on eggplant vines. Oh. Now I'm trying to imagine and describe the perfect chair. What chair? Hmm. That's a good point. I never thought of that. Why are you wearing pajamas and a cape? Is that one of the deeper mysteries of the universe? No, I was just wondering. Oh, well, I'm Pajama Sam! I see. How do you suppose they get the creamy filling inside of a Twinkie? I don't know how they get it in, but I know how to get it out. I sure like your horn of celebration. Thank you. Can I blow it again? Help yourself. <gasps> that was fun. Phew, I wasn't ready yet. Can I blow the horn of celebration again? Be careful this time. Down a bit next time. Can I blow the horn of celebration again? Be careful this time. <gasps> Some horn. Phew, I wasn't ready yet. Hey, a gondola. I wonder where it goes. Hello! Howdy. You're wearing a straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right. I'm Chuck Chatter, Cheese of Adventure! I'm on my way to the conference, but my balloon got stuck here in this blasted cotton candy cloud. There didn't used to be so many of them around. I'm Pajama Sam! Can I give you a lift? I can't leave the balloon behind, but there is something you can do for me. But Jimmy Sam always helps those in need. Well, that's me. You see, I need to add some weight to the balloon, so it'll be heavy enough to get unstuck and float down. Why don't I climb aboard? No, no. It's got to be just the right amount of weight. You see? Or I'll go down too fast and crash. Oh. Well, how much weight do you need? That's the problem. I'm not sure. I'll need 10 pounds of sand altogether. But there's already one sandbag hanging under the balloon, and I can't see how much weight is in it. Can you see it from there? No, but don't worry. I'll think of something. I know you a big one.
much weight did you say you need for the balloon again? Ten pounds altogether, but there's already some in the sandbag under the balloon. Are you sure you don't want to just climb over here? I can't leave the balloon. It's government property, and I'm responsible. I wonder how Chuck Cheddar is doing. I'll bet I've made this trip a hundred times. Never been stuck in a cotton candy cloud before. Don't worry. I'll get you the right amount of weight somehow and get you unstuck. I appreciate it. How much more weight did you say you need for the balloon again? Ten pounds minus whatever's already in the sandbag under the balloon. I've got to find the rest of the delegates. Whoa! <laughs> Our self service. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing. I've already got some skis. I've gotta rescue those delegates. I've already got some skis. Skis and poles are self service. all those different routes. that all day if I didn't have to save the island and get back for dinner. <laughs> what a cool looking tree! I think there's ketchup growing on it. And some other stuff too. I don't think I can get over there. It looks like it's too far for me to swim. that all kinds of things grow on trees that I never even thought about. I'd like to get a close look at that tree, but I'll have to find a way to cross the river. How am I gonna get over there? I wish I had a boat or something. I don't think I can get over there. It looks like it's too far for me to swim. That water looks kinda cold to go swimming. Looks like I'd have to get all wet to go that way. I can't go back to jail. I've got more important stuff to do. I've got to help find all the peace delegates. Oh. Oh. 
Shivering shallots! Look here, carrot. Tell me this doesn't mean war. That's a crumb from your lunch, General. Delicious. Now, uh, what was I talking about? You were saying we don't need to declare war just yet. That the rest of the peace delegates will be here any time now, and everything will be all right. Ah, of course. I said that. I'd like to get a close look at that tree, but I'll have to find a way to cross the river. That water looks kind of cold to go swimming. I wonder how Chuck Cheddar is doing. Whoop! Oh my! It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today! Why don't you come in for a swim, Sam? The water's lovely! I don't want to get too wet before dinner, but maybe you could give me a ride. Sure, hop on! I've got to find the rest of the delegates! Sprinkles, my name. Floating's my game. What's round and pink and loves to float? Um, you? Right! I could float all day long. This is even more fun than swinging. Sprinkles, my name. Floating's my game. Boy, this is great. Look at all these different sauces. Yes, it's a condiment tree. Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! Mmm, <sighs> mustard! I like mustard on my sandwiches! Mmm, hot sauce! And it's the extra spicy kind! This is mayonnaise! Mom puts it in deviled eggs! Yum! Barbecue sauce! I put this on my peas! Mom thinks I'm nuts, but it's good! This is relish, the kind you make with pickles. You never know when you might need some relish. Ew, horseradish. This stuff is too strong for me. But some... This one's vinegar. It tastes awful by itself, but it's good on salads and things. Ew, horseradish. This stuff is too strong for me, but some people like it. This is teriyaki sauce. My mom likes to cook things with it. Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! This ketchup might come in handy. I'll put this other one back. I don't want to be greedy. This is teriyaki sauce. My mom likes to cook things with it. Any bad guys around here had better just watch out. <laughs> Here's another box top. <laughs> wow, what a log jam! And it's all french fries! 
I don't think we can get past these french fries. Hello? Hello, french fry. I'm not a french fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you are. Pity. Do you like french fries? I love french fries. Especially with teriyaki sauce. Mmm, teriyaki sauce. That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with teriyaki sauce on them. Then there's no stopping me. I like mine with ketchup. Well, different strokes for different folks. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of gross. The french fries are blocking the way. I don't think we can go any farther as long as the french fries are here. We're going to have to find a way to get rid of this log jam. It looks like that gelatin dessert thing that Aunt Ethel always makes. You must be very happy with so many french fries nearby. Yeah, but I only like them with teriyaki sauce. Oh, that's right. I don't think we can go any farther as long as the french fries are here. I can't tell if somebody made that or if it just grew there. I'm not sure, but I think that thing is wiggling. I can't tell if somebody made that or if it just grew there. I wonder I could float all day long. Have you seen any peace delegates around here? Are they tasty and delicious? Gee, I hope not. We're gonna have to find a way to get rid of this log jam. What was it that you liked on your french fries again? Teriyaki sauce. Oh yeah. This is teriyaki sauce. My mom likes to cook things with it. I might find a use for this teriyaki sauce. I better take it. I'll put this other one back. I don't want to be greedy. Hey, what is that? Is it teriyaki sauce? Uh-huh. Oh, boy! Well, so much for not getting wet. I thought that was fun. Hey, that tickled! <laughs> A Jim and Sam is on the job!
shall we? Let's go! Zax, guess your weight. Zax, guess your weight. Welcome to Muscle Beach. Welcome to Muscle Beach. Here's another box top. Excuse me, why are you wearing a bag on your head? Huh? What? Oh, I was hiding out from the sweet troops, man. Are they gone? I don't see anybody. Great! Thanks for waking me up, brah. I'm Zach Zook. I'm Pajama Sam. Hey, that's cool. Say, Pajama Sam, what are you? About 42 pounds? I don't know. Zach Zook is never wrong about these things, my man. You weigh 42 pounds. Okay. Do you think I could use your bag? Somebody after you? Sure, take it, bro. I don't need it anymore. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. Zach. Yo, PJ Sam, 42 pounds. What's up? Are you really always right about how much people weigh? I'm the best weight guesser on the island. Hey, Zach. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? How many weight guessers are there on the island? <sighs> Just me, man. Hey, Zach. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? Is weight guessing a good job? Well, you know, it keeps the rent paid since the old business went under. Literally. <laughs> yeah. He's that. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? Is weight guessing really a good job? Not really, no. But I'm good at it. Hey, Zach. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? How come you tell me how much I weigh every time I talk to you? I can't help it. It's like a, a nervous habit. But hey, that's why I'm so good at my job. Hey, Zach. My man Sam, 42 pounder. How is it? Do you know how much other things weigh besides people? Oh, sure. For example, elephants weigh about 8,000 pounds. Wow! Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Hey, Zach. My man Sam, 42 pounder, how is it? How much does a cow weigh? Uh, about one or 2,000 pounds. That's as much as a small car. Hey, Zach. My man Sam, 42 pounder, how is it? How much does a hippopotamus weigh? Oh, around 5,000 pounds, dude. Hey, Zach. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? How much does a pound of cheese weigh? Oh, let's see. That'd be about one pound. I've got to rescue those delegates! A box top!
Pajama Sam! Are you one of the delegates for the peace conference? But yes, I am Pierre Le Pen of the Breads and Grains Group. Can you get down from there? Alas, no, I am trapped. The Ferris wheel, she has no power. The exercise machine on the beach furnishes the power, but no one seems to be exercising, and so she does not move. Hmm, well, I'll think of something. Thank you. For the peace conference to be deprived of Pierre? This is not good. the conference it has started already? I think they're waiting for everyone to get there first. Ah, this is good. But if everyone doesn't get there soon, the general is going to declare war on the sweets and fats. Ah, this. It is not so good. You must get me down so that I may help. I'll think of something. <laughs> Pierre, what were you doing on a Ferris wheel anyway? I thought you were supposed to be on your way to the conference. Ah, well, you see, I was distracted by a young lady. Eclair, she was called, and she was most sweet. And she took you on the Ferris wheel? Uh, she was in need of the attentions of mm -hmm. Pierre. Uh, I could not refuse. Monsieur Sam, are you making progress with the rescuing of me? I think I might be able to get the Ferris wheel to work again. Then I could get you down. Ah, that would be most fine. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> but seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny! Bring back the other guy! Don't you get it? Orange? Breath? Plop, plop, plop? Plop this, wise guy! It's true. He really isn't very funny. But hey, tell me, what do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. How about a nice hand for Mickey Hollandaise, folks? Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! <laughs> All right, folks, check this out! It'll knock you right out of your seats! Knock, knock! Who's there? Omelette! Omelette who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them! Knock, knock! Who's there? Kenny! Kenny who? Kenny, open the door now! <laughs> You like that, huh? Okay, 
Hey, how about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? The yodeling contest is tomorrow. Today we'll do a knock, knock joke. Please, stick to the program. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, on! this is a good one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. <laughs> Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's freezing outside. <laughs> <laughs> Try this one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the tub. I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, check this out. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? <laughs> Isabel Pepper. The red kind or the green kind? <laughs> I can tell you're a discerning audience. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Anybody know any more knock, knock jokes? <laughs> you can see why they call me the knock, knock king. Knock, knock. Who's there? We. We who? We like you to open the door so we can come in. <laughs> Are you ready? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Theodore. Theodore who? Theodore's locked. Why do you think I'm knocking? <laughs> Hi. I, am. Um, I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Well... I knew it. Oh, I am awful. No, I wouldn't say that. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Because I can't remember. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's okay. My career is over. Nice day, isn't it? I wonder how Chuck Cheddar is doing. Why don't you tell me a joke right now? A joke? Oh, okay. Why did the... Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, what color was the... No, no. Oh, crap, I can't even tell one joke. That's okay. Lots of people can't tell jokes. But I'm a professional comedian. Oh, yeah. Ah, another box top! I'm such a failure. Did I tell you once I bombed so badly that the audience followed me home and threw vegetables at my house? That is bad. <laughs> hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Because I can't remember. Oh no! Don't worry, it's okay. My career is over. Is it all right if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks. I like this music. I'm a lousy comedian. I wish I had a better head for jokes. Why don't you tell me a joke right now? A joke? Oh, okay. Why did the... Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, what color was the... No, no. Oh, crap, I can't even tell one joke. That's okay. Lots of people can't tell jokes. But I'm a professional comedian. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, check this out! Knock, knock! Who's there? Avocado! Avocado who? Avocado to keep me from falling out when I drive! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, on! This is a good one! Knock, knock! Who's there? Harry! Harry who? Hurry and open the door! 
car. <laughs> Try this one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Apple. <laughs> Apple who? I pulled on the knob, but the door won't open. <laughs> yeah, this is my kind of crowd. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Carrot. Carrot who? Carrot all about me. Then open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them. Knock, knock. Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? <laughs> Isabel Pepper, the red kind or the green kind? <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Police. Police who? Police, open the door. It's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're a discerning audience. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? Isabel working? I had to knock. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had a cheese and You can see why they call me the Knock Knock King. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hutch. Hutch who? The Zoom <laughs> I am most worried about the peace conference. I must get there with all possible haste. Don't worry, I'll get you down from there soon. I don't think he'd be interested in that. That wouldn't be very nice. Hi, do you sell balloons? Give the boy a college scholarship, he's a genius. Do you like selling balloons? Oh yeah, it's the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams. What happens if you sell all your balloons? I can buy a new pair of shoes, Velcro shoes. What's wrong with the ones you've got? Nothing if you've got all day to tie them. The laces keep coming undone. I think helium balloons are a lot more fun than the regular kind. Personally, I prefer a trip to Rio de Janeiro, but what do I know? Say, those are nice! Oops! Darn these laces, they're always coming undone. Here, kid, hold these for me, would you? Sure! Whoops! Um... Thanks, kid. You're welcome. Oh, not again. Here, help me out again, would you? Sure! Thanks, kid. You're welcome. Do you ever suck the helium out of your balloons to make your voice sound funny? Yeah, and I try not to sell as many as possible so I can do that at the end of a long, hard day. Since my shoelaces won't stay tied, it will be too dangerous. Do you know how to make those funny balloon animals? No, but I can blow up a balloon, so that's something. Are your balloons expensive? How much money have you got? None. Compared to none, they're expensive. Do you like selling balloons? 
Oh yeah, it's the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams. I've really got to get Pierre down from that Ferris wheel. What happens if you sell all your balloons? I can buy a new pair of shoes. Velcro shoes. What's wrong with the ones you've got? Nothing if you've got all day to tie them. The laces keep coming undone. Please pose for your picture. balloons are a lot more fun than the regular kind. Personally, I prefer a trip to Rio de Janeiro, but what do I know? How are you doing up there, Pierre? Mm, I am most agitated. Oh, I do not like the heights very much. Sure. Those muffins over there are drawing us? They said they're taking an art class or something. Like, whatever. It's alright with us, as long as they don't block our rays. Do you do this all the time? Oh no, only during PTH. It's just not worth the effort otherwise. Yeah, as soon as the bell rings, we're out of here. I just don't know why anyone would be drawing on the beach anyway. Why is there some good rays, if you ask me? They said something about the north light being great. North light, south light, it's all great for tanning. That's all that matters. Oh, brother. Boy, you guys look healthy. Yeah, we know. Shouldn't you be working out or something? Not now, dude. We're busy. We have to draw those cupcakes for our art class. 
Do you guys like to work out? Oh, yeah. Working out is almost as important to us as our drawing assignment. But not quite. We've got to draw those cupcakes so we can be famous artists someday. I see. It's a good thing there are some cupcakes here for you to draw, isn't it? I don't know what we'd do if they weren't around. Well, there's always the exercise machine. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me again why we have to draw cupcakes and not something else. The instructor said it will develop our abilities to judge frosting and perspective. All right. Well, it's a lucky thing those cupcakes are here. Or we pretty much have to chuck the assignment and go back to working out again. Yeah, lucky thing. Boy, you guys look healthy. Yeah, we know. This exercise machine is connected to the Ferris wheel. Yep, that's right, little dude. When we work out, it makes the wheel go around. What if someone wants to ride the Ferris wheel and you're not working out? Usually we are working out, so it's not a problem. Unless we have assignments. Oh yeah, our art comes first, man. Don't you think you should get back to working out? Someone might want to ride that Ferris wheel. That's just one of the sacrifices we all make for art, man. This exercise machine is connected to the Ferris wheel. Yep, that's right, little dude. When we work out, it makes the wheel go around. How will you know when you're done baking? Like we use a timer, you know? PTH will be totally over when the bell rings. That wouldn't be very nice. That wouldn't be very nice. That wouldn't be very nice. What if someone wants to ride the Ferris wheel and you're not working out? Usually we are working out, so it's not a problem. Unless we have assignments. Oh yeah, our art comes first, man. I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. Pajama Sam, 46 pounds. Spill your brain, brah. You told me before I was only 42 pounds. Four pounds is massively easy to spot. Maybe you're carrying something heavy now. Hey, Zach. Pajama Sam, 46 pounds. Spill your brain, brah. You told me before I was only 42 pounds. Four pounds is massively easy to spot. You must have something heavy in your pocket. I don't want to... Come on, Sprinkle, let's go. Okay. Welcome to the foothills. Woo-hoo! 
Garnish. That would be garnish, dear boy. Do try it. Garnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Say, I was wondering. Uh-uh. What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Say, I was wondering. Uh-uh. What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Uh, yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. It seems quiet now, though, doesn't it? Yes, blissful. Garnish. That would be garnish, dear boy. Do try it. Garnish. Excellently done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Hello, young man. How may we help you? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Wondering. Uh, uh, uh. What do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess. Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Uh, yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. It seems quiet now, though, doesn't it? Yes, blissful. Uh. 
I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. Here's another box top. Hi, what's going on? We're on strike is what's going on. We can't work with those uppity jelly beans. Kidney beans are best. Jelly beans rule. Hello up there. Hello. Are you supposed to be going to the peace conference? Yes, but everybody is on strike, so I'm stuck up here. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm here to help you. Thanks, I'm 47. Gee, you look much younger. No, my name is 47. That's a strange name. Well, I never met anybody named Pajama before either. Good point. I like your sign. Can I borrow it? No, we're striking. We've got to have a sign. That's a neat sign. Can I borrow it? No, we're striking. We've got to have a sign. Hi. How's it going? Lousy. We're on strike. We can't work with those obnoxious kidney beans. It's a nice sign, assuming you're a kidney bean. How come you don't want to work with the kidney beans? They think they're so great. They don't appreciate us at all. Is there any way to lower that girder you're standing on? I don't think so. The whole plant is shut down because of the strike. Hey, 47. Do other beans have numbers for names, too? Oh, we all do. It's much less confusing that way. I guess. You're sure we can't lower the girder? Not while the strike is on. No. Did you make a list of demands? I think people usually do that when they go on strike. Oh, we did. But really, we'd be happy if the kidney beans would just show us a little respect. It's a nice sign, assuming you're a kidney bean. I like your sign. Can I borrow it? No, we're striking. We've got to have a sign. stop striking, then can we lower the girder? I think so. Yes! <laughs> what did you say your demands were? We just want the kidney beans to show us a little respect. That's all! How come you don't want to work with the jelly beans? They think they're so great. They don't appreciate us at all. Did you make a list of demands? I think people usually do that when they go on strike. We did. But we'd be really happy if the jelly beans would just show us a little respect. Maybe one of the other beans could go to the conference instead of you. Oh no, that would never work. I'm bean number 47. I'm the one who was chosen to go. 
So you're not going back to work in the factory? Not with those snooty kidney beans. So you're not going back to work in the factory? Not with those stuck-up jelly beans. What did you say your demands were? We just want the jelly beans to show us a little respect. That's all. Maybe you could jump off the girder and I could catch you. Not a chance. I'd be way too scared to try that. If the workers stop striking, then can we lower the girder? I think so. Yes. Here's another box top! Hi, I'm Sam! Oh, hi! Is something wrong? Well, I'm the foreman here at the factory, and all the workers have gone on strike. It's a big mess. Oh. Why are your workers striking? I don't have the faintest idea. They've given me a bunch of crazy demands, but I think it must really be something simple. Hey, that tickled! <laughs> I wonder how Chuck Cheddar is doing. What are those papers? This is all stuff relating to the demands of the factory workers who are striking. As foreman, I've got to sort it all out. What's that top one? The kidney beans want expanded restroom capacity. But I don't even have the figures about how many of them there are. I thought it was written here somewhere. Could you just go out and count them? Yes, I suppose I'll have to do that. Well, no time like the present. A tan hut! All right, let's see. One, two, three. All right, as you were. Oops, there he goes. What did you say your demands were? We just want the kidney beans to show us a little respect, that's all! You have a really great mustache! Thank you. As foreman, I'm allowed to wear a mustache. Did it take long to grow? Oh no, it's a false one. We beans can't actually grow hair. I see. What are you working on now? They're demanding that their pensions be invested individually instead of in one big fund. What a nightmare. I'll need to get a bunch of forms. Let's see. How many will I need? Hmm. A tan hut. All right, let's see. One, two, three. All right, as you were. says kidney beans are best hey they do like us after all look what their sign says who are there jelly beans rule hey they like us they really like us
Why, I'll be. They're... they're working. I saw what you did over there. That was pretty clever. Thanks. And it helped me get down. Thank goodness. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. You're a real hero. Well, I'd stay in chat, but I'm late for the peace conference. Bye now. See ya. Well, that's one down, three to go. You must be very happy to have the strike be over. You bet I am. I bet it makes your job a whole lot easier. Well, I, um, I still have many responsibilities as foreman. Important things. Did I tell you I have to keep this office stocked with supplies? Responsibilities as the foreman? I make sure they wash their hands before returning to work. Well, that's important. being the foreman. I have to play golf with the district supervisor when he comes by. He's a terrible golfer, but I let him win. official foreman mustache waxed up properly or droops are there more things you have to do when you're the foreman i'm responsible for ordering all the calcium we use to make the building strong and the helium that the workers like to use to make their voices sound squeaky what else do foremen do i get all the shirts together for hawaiian shirt day are there more things you have to do when you're the foreman I have to play golf with the district supervisor when he comes by. He's a terrible golfer, but I let him win. Let's go. Okay. The blubberbs. Hey.
Welcome to the Blubberbs. What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Don't you ever get tired? Us? Tired? No, especially not a dancing. Don't you know shaking sodas up can make them explode? Yeah, yeah. Don't harsh my fizz, man. Are you getting tired yet? Not even a little bit. Aren't you bored of this dance? Yeah, but it's the only one we know. Maybe you should try a different dance. We can't. We don't know any other dances. Are you getting tired yet? Not even a little bit. Hello! I'm Pajama Sam! Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right! I'm Granny Smythe! That's Smythe with a Y, mind you! Get it right! Yes, ma'am. Do you need help? You bet your flannel pajamas I do, Sonny! I'm stuck out here! And I don't swim! Never fear! Sam is here! I'll find a way to get to you! Make it snappy, would you? I'm late for the conference! How did you get trapped out there, Granny Smythe? It was those sweets! I told them to stop roughhousing! And they picked me up and put me out here! I've really got to get Pierre down from that Ferris wheel. What is this stuff, anyway? It's caramel! Honestly, the things those sweets get up to! Wrapping an old lady in the middle of a bottomless lake! Things were better in the old days, when there were only four food groups! Don't worry, ma'am. I'll have you out of there soon. How much longer will you be rescuing me, young man? Anytime now, ma'am. I wonder if I could throw her a rope or something. What was that? Nothing, ma'am. I was just thinking out loud. You do know that I can't swim, don't you? Yes, ma'am. You told me so. If I ever get back to the mainland, I'm gonna have a few words for those young hooligans who put me out here. Don't worry. I'm gonna help you. You haven't forgotten that I have to get to that peace conference now, have you? No, ma'am. I remember. There must be something I can use to reach her. Hey, How's that? Sorry. I was just thinking out loud again. Are you coming over here to help me? Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to get to where you are. of this dance? Yeah, but it's the only one we know. You guys are all plumbers, right? Right!
What do you call what you're doing right now? Plumbing. Is there any way I can help you with that? Nope. This is a job for a plumber. Your plunger is really big, isn't it? Yep. You look pretty relaxed for someone who's working. I'm assessing the situation. You have to think about these things a while before you dive into them. You have to do a lot of thinking as a plumber? Oh, yes. Me, especially. I handle most of the conceptual work for this team. You're certainly working hard. Yep. How come you don't have a plunger like the other guys do? I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much, since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. What's this? Oh, that's just my old ski ticket. I heard it sells Cyrus now. You can have it if you want. What are these shapes marked on it? That's the route I always take when I go skiing. Oh. I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. Say, that's a nice wrench. Yep. That's a Shaftsman High Tensile Monkey Man with 30 to 300 auto zoom and... Hey, are you in the union? The union? The plumber's union. Let's see your plunger. Um, I haven't got a plunger. Well, then don't touch the wrench. It's for trained professionals. Okay. What were you doing skiing with a plunger anyway? Real plumbers take their plungers everywhere. What kinds of things do you have to think about? No oh, throughput, pressure, angles of the pipes, that sort of thing, you know. No, I don't. Yes, I suppose you wouldn't. I don't see you carrying a plunger, so I assume you're not a plumber. All in the plumber's union? That's right. You can tell because we've all got standard issue plungers, like this one. Well, except for Paper here, who lost his? But we already know he's in the union. Yeah. Are you very busy? Do I look busy? No. Oh, well I am. Tell me more about plumbing. You're just a layman, but I will give you this advice. Don't drop big things down the drain. That's good advice. You bet it is. I'm a professional. What did you say happened to your plunger? I lost it while I was skiing. Could I try out your plunger sometime? I don't think so. This here is professional equipment. I had no idea plumbing was so complicated. Well, you wouldn't, would you? You're not a plumber. At least you don't seem to have a plunger. I'll bet your job is pretty fun. I guess. Is there any way I can help you with that? Nope. This is a job for a plumber. What else do you have to think about? Aesthetics. How plumbing looks is almost as important as how it works. What did you say happened to your plunger? I lost it while I was skiing. Tell me more about plumbing. You're just a layman, but I will give you this advice. Don't drop big things down the drain. That's good advice. You bet it is. I'm a professional. 
Are you sure I couldn't just use that wrench for a little while? Yeah, can't let you touch it unless you're in the union. Regu Did you say that wrench has an auto zoom? That's not something you should worry about. Only plumbers are allowed to use the wrench. Yeah. A box top! I think this makes 20! I wonder what this does. I think that's a big old clog. I wonder if I could fix this. I could use one of these to replace the clogged one. I wonder what I can use to loosen these pipes and take them apart. There's a big bulge in one of these pipes. I'll bet if I replaced the clogged pipe with one of these spare pipes, it would work. I wonder what I can use to loosen these pipes and take them apart. Shall we? Let's shall. don't want to get into trouble. Do you like being guards? Oh, yes. Yes, except for all the standing around and the, well... The guarding things. Right. That part isn't very interesting. But the rest is, well... It's great. Really great. I see. Could you tell me what a gourd is again? Well, yes, they're like, uh, melons, or, or... Or pumpkins. Right, pumpkins. Thanks. Um, look, a sweet potato. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh... Mr. Gord, very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. So, um, have there been any other gourds around here lately? Well, um, uh, no, actually. Well, I think you're the first one all day. Frankly, I was hoping for a little more action, you know. Yeah. I'm worried about that poor old apple. I've got to rescue the rest of the delegates. I think maybe I could get used to being a gourd. Oh, yeah. All those extra privileges and stuff, yeah. That'd be nice. Do gourds get any other privileges besides being able to go in there? Hmm. Well... No, I guess not. Are you two guys gourds too? Us? No. No, we're yams. 
Yeah, and yams are tubers. We're two tubers. And I am what I am. <laughs> Get it? I am what I am. <laughs> it's a whatchamacallit, you know, a, a play on words. What words? On yam and uh, yam. Uh, see, if I say I am what I am, then it's funny be because I am. Am what? Um, I had it a second ago. Nope, I don't get it. It's like when you said we were two tubers. That was funny, too. I said that? I suppose it could have been me. I am the funny one. A pun. That's what I meant to say. It was a pun. Er, and? So that's funny. Hmm. Don't quit your day job. Okay. So, um, have there been any other gourds around here lately? Well, uh... No, actually. I think you're the first one all day. Frankly, I was hoping for a little more action, you know? Yeah. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the... Well, wait a minute. It's gourds only, right? Yes, and he's a gourd. So I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Aha! This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. like there's six pounds of weight on the balloon. It looks like there's six pounds of weight on the balloon. Neat! Nice day, isn't it? How do you suppose they get the creamy filling inside of a Twinkie? 
I don't know how they get it in, but I know how to get it out. I don't mind telling you I'm a little worried. I've got to get to that peace conference soon. It's okay, Mr. Cheddar, but Jim and Sam is on the job. Here, maybe this bag of sand will help get you unstuck. Ah, brilliant. Thank you. <whistles> it's working! Yay! Thanks, kid. You're a genius. I am off to the peace conference. Good luck. That's two down, two to go. Skis and poles are self-service. Look at all those different routes. If I wanted to follow the path on my ticket, I'd start by turning where the orange square is. These shapes show the route that Plumber took when he went skiing. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing! Bombs away! I'll bet this belongs to that plumber. How about another ride? Sure, anytime. Shall we? Let's set off. Welcome to the blubber. about plumbing. You're just a layman, but I will give you this advice. Don't drop big things down the drain. That's good advice. You bet it is. I'm a professional. Are you very busy? Do I look busy? No. Oh, well I am. You're certainly working hard. Yep. Plumbers use these to fix clogs, but you can also make funny noises with the suction cup part. 
I'm pretty sure that won't work. Is this your plunger? Hey, a plunger! Look, fellas, this guy's a plumber, just like us! Say, that's just grand! Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Yeah, it's always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam! It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Okay, thanks. I've got to find the rest of the delegates. Do you think I could use that wrench for a while? Sure, Sam. Yes, we're all plumbers here. Thanks. Is Scissors your real name? They call me Scissors because I'm the sharpest guy around. Oh. I helped install plumbing on that space station, too. Did I tell you that? I was the only one who could throw the pipes high enough. That's a good story. How did you get to be called Paper? All the good names were taken. Oh. Did I tell you about how I once fixed a clog in the Alaska pipeline? There was a sport utility vehicle stuck inside. Now that was a big job. That's a good story. Say, Sam, have you ever considered the impact of cylindrical fluid dynamics on traditional U-bottom plumbing architecture? Boy, you are smart. How right you are. I handle most of the paperwork around here, you know? Paperwork is one of the most important parts of plumbing. I'm sure it is. You know, Sam, I was just thinking about the pros and cons of lead versus copper vis-a-vis -vis their respective coefficients of friction. What's your opinion on that? How am I supposed to know? I'm just a kid. Good point. Hey, Sam, did I ever tell you about the time I helped install the plumbing in the Guggenheim Museum? The building's round and all the pipes were straight, so they needed somebody to bend them. That's a good story. Once the three of us got called in to clear up a clog, it had been caused by paperwork. Somebody stuck his tax forms down the drain. Sounds perfect for you, paper. Just my kind of thing, exactly. You'd be amazed at the kind of paperwork you have to file with the State Department of Pipes and Fittings. Have you ever seen a PXE-2701 form? No, I don't think I have. It's a real monster. Can I help? No thanks. I think I've got it under control. Sam, do you think that the existence of a clog precedes the essence of a clog? Or the other way around. It sounds very complicated to me. Good point. You know, Sam, I was just thinking about the pros and cons of lead versus copper vis-a-vis -vis their respective coefficients of friction. What's your opinion on that? How am I supposed to know? I'm just a kid. How right you are. You know, sometimes I like to climb up on a big stack of paperwork and just stand there. It makes me feel tall. Did I tell you about how I once fixed a clog in the Alaska pipeline? There was a sport utility vehicle stuck inside. Now that was a big job. That's a good story. It's not easy being the smallest, you know. I know. I have a big brother. The other day, I had to file a 26-page requisition in quintuplicate just to get a plastic U-joint. Wow! I handle most of the paperwork around here, you know? Paperwork is one of the most important parts of plumbing. I'm sure it is. I'll bet if I replaced a clogged pipe with one of these spare pipes, it would work. Uh -huh. 
there's a big bulge in one of these pipes. There. Now the clog is gone at least. I need to find a spare that looks like the clogged one. That looks like a perfect fit. I think it's all set once the water's turned back on. Now I can finally relax. So guys, what's up? We were just talking about rubber gaskets. Oh boy! I wonder where the water goes from here. Hmm, on second thought, maybe I don't want to know. It's all working okay now. I did a pretty good job on these pipes, if I must say so myself. It's all working okay now. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. It looks like your claw got fixed. Yep, I finally got it. You see, you just gotta keep at it. Are you gonna be using that big plunger now? Not right now. I might let you try it out. Except I have to have some kind of plunger in case of emergencies. Can I please try out your extra long plunger? Sure, Sam, but you gotta swap me another plunger for it. So I'll still have the right tools for my job. It looks like your claw got fixed. Yep, I finally got it. You see, you just gotta keep at it. If you're not using that big plunger right now, would you like to trade me for a while? Why, well, sure, I guess that'd be all right. I've been working with Rock for years, so I'm used to it. Shall we? Let's shall! Chuck Cheddar. I've already helped him get to the conference. That's Florette. She already made it to the conference. I've already helped Bean 47 get to the conference. That's Luke Wigglebig. He's already at the conference. I just need to figure out how to help Pierre get down from that Ferris wheel. I need to help her get out of that caramel pit somehow.
I hope we can get moving on this peace thing pretty soon. I've got a full schedule today. We'll start as soon as we can. Good, good. Can't we just start the conference now? I've got important things to do. More important than keeping the island out of a total war? Well, it's... We're not starting until everyone arrives. Which food group is the best one? Now, there's no best food group. They're all good. Of course, my favorite is the vegetable. Hello, 47. How are you? I am well, but I wish I could be back helping the rest of the beans. I'm sure you're helping them by being here. Yes, that is true. Thank you. You're welcome. How are we on time? I've got a little bungee jumping lined up for later. I'm sure you'll make it. Does anyone here know how to do a wave? We beans do it all the time. It's good for morale. I'm not doing a wave. Well, it never hurts to ask. I wonder how the other beans are doing. We share everything, you know. Including your wardrobe, apparently. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful. What happens at a peace conference when people don't agree? Yelling, arm wrestling, pounding shoes on the table, that sort of thing. Although sometimes we talk about it and work it out. Doing well so far, but I've still got two more delegates to rescue. I'd better rescue the other two delegates pretty soon. You know, I've really got to get back from my lava rafting trip tomorrow. Gotta check the heat suit and everything. Yeah, that sounds very exciting. You'd better believe it, Tuxedo Boy. Lava rafting is the most intense sport there is. You know, we sweets are renowned for our good taste. No, oh, it stands to reason that we should be in charge. I think maybe we should wait for everyone to get here before we start on any of that. Hmm. Will we be starting soon? I feel funny being away from the other beans. You look funny too. Ha! Ha! That's a joke, buddy. No, never mind. Just for the record, I think I should say that the SSAM do not reflect the views of all fats and sweets. Many of us are interested in peace. That's good to know. What happens at a peace conference when people don't agree? Yelling, arm wrestling, pounding shoes on the table, that sort of thing. Although sometimes we talk about it and work it out. Is anyone up for a game of rock, rock, rock? What does that mean? It's like rock, paper, scissors, except with just rocks. So it's always a tie? Exactly. That doesn't sound like it would be very much fun. Don't knock until you've tried it. Can we get on with this conference? I'm supposed to be speaking at a graduation ceremony later. At the Full Moon School of the Incredibly Dangerous. I want to get my notes in order. We can't start until everyone is here. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Have you all checked the alignment of your ego selves today? What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds good, doesn't it? My cummerbund is riding up again. Perhaps you should dress more casually next time. I think not. Have I told you how we beans play tic-tac-toe? Both players make X's until there are three in a row. That seems kind of silly. It makes it cooperative instead of competitive. Is that good? Of course. Can't we just start the conference now? I've got important things to do. More important than keeping the island out of a total war? Well, it's... We're not starting until everyone arrives. Hey, Sam. Have you ever been chocolate diving? I don't know what that is, but it sounds like fun. Oh, it is. Will we be starting soon? I feel funny being away from the other beans. You look funny too. Ha! Ha! That's a joke, buddy. No, oh, never mind.
I could use a ride again. Hop on! Come on, Sprinkle, let's go! Okay! Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? How much does the planet Earth weigh? Roughly about 13,000 billion trillion pounds. That sounds like a lot. It is, man. Hey, Zach. Mr. Pajama Sam, big 42 pounds. What's the zone, man? How much does a whale weigh? Depends on the whale, but some of them weigh as much as 200,000 pounds. Zach, guess your weight. Hey, Zach. Yo, PJ Sam, 42 pounds. What's up? How much does a cruise ship weigh? Oh, somewhere around 150 million pounds. Welcome to Muscle Beach. <laughs> How are you doing up there, Pierre? Mm, I am most agitated. Oh, I do not like the heights very much. I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. Uh, Monsieur Sam, are you making progress with the rescuing of me? I think I might be able to get the Ferris wheel to work again. Then I could get you down. Ah, that would be most fine. Do you ever suck the helium out of your balloons to make your voice sound funny? Yeah, and I try not to sell as many as possible so I can do that at the end of a long, hard day. If me and the bell were just closer together, this wouldn't be so hard. One of these days, I'm going to have to get some of those Velcro shoes. Here, help me out again, would you? Pajama Sam always helps those in need. Oops, there's the bell. We're done, girls. Peak panning hours are over. Bye-bye, boys. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. Oh. Darn. I hope they come back tomorrow. But it'll be too until then. Work out some more. What else? Yeah. All right. Qu'est-ce que c'est? The wheel, it turns. I am seven! Um, help? Courage, mon ami! You must grab onto the wheel! Zoot! Ah, excellent! Now we are both severed, and I can continue on to the Conference of Peace. Say, what happened to my... Oh shoot. Oh well, I needed a new career anyhow. Mm, perhaps you can start the taxi service. I need to go to the food pyramid. Can you take me there? Sure, hop in. Au revoir, my pajama friend. Au revoir! That's three down, only one more to go. Hey, Zach. My man Sam, 42 pounder, how is it? How much does the planet Earth weigh? Roughly 
About 13,000 billion trillion pounds. That sounds like a lot. It is, man. I could use a ride again. Hop on. Try a different dance. We can't. We don't know any other dances. Don't you know shaking sodas up can make them explode? Yeah, yeah. Don't harsh my fizz, man. I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general. That might work, but I think I'll need to get closer. I wonder what pajama man would rescuing me. You're a delightful young man. Thank you. Now, I must be rushing along to the conference. They'll be waiting for me. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I think that's all the delegates. I'd better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead. Shrub. Entree. Loaf. Pabulum. Grub. Morsel. Goblet. Tidbit. Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting. This means war! No. No, it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say right. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. 
And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mm -hmm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? No. Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kids got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. All right. Yeah. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Cooperation? Why this means... Means I'm... Um, Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh. I forgot. Do you want to play again? Are you sure you want to leave? 